What is up, NLC Live? My name is Seth Tomboli, and today I'm bringing you the Devo. Awesome. So what you're looking at right now is an attempt to grow a beard. It's not very successful. Don't judge me. Um, if you looked at my Google history right now, it does show um, a lot of how to how to grow a beard. Um, tips and tricks. Just felt like I needed to confess and be healed with you right now in case you wonder what's on my face. Now you know, I am the student pastor at Greater Little Rock. Um, and man, we are so excited about what God's doing in student ministry across the state of Arkansas. And uh, so the, the NLC Live team has asked me uh, to share about Genesis 3 today. And uh, they didn't give me a specific verse, so that's dangerous, okay? But I picked one. I'm going to start in verse 7. I'm going to give you some context about what's going on. It says in Genesis 7, uh, I love, or Genesis 3, verse 7, I love this. It says, then the eyes of both of them were opened. They realized that they were naked. Hey, yo. Just a fun fact. Before sin ever entered, it was completely fine to be naked. Adam and Eve messed it up. And uh, now I have to sleep with clothes on. But anyways, um, it says, so they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. I, I, I love this part of this, this passage. So what happens? Genesis 1, God creates everything, speaks everything into existence. He created mankind in his image. Um, and in chapter 2, it talks about Adam and Eve. It talks about uh, that, like what that was like, why he created Eve and why he created Adam and how that the whole process began. In chapter three, things get kind of, kind of crazy. Um, sin enters the world. The, the enemy, Satan, uh, tries to get Adam to believe a lie, tries to get Eve to believe a lie, to buy into the fact. Um, and he asked the question, he said, did God really say, or who, who told you, um, that you couldn't eat from the, the fruit of this tree? And in verse seven, it's very interesting. It says the eyes of them that they were opened, um, and then they realized they were naked. And uh, it says they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. What you need to know is that at the end of this chapter, it says um, eventually that they hid from God. Um, God comes on the scene and he's like, where are you guys? Why are you hiding from me? This is what I envision. I envision Adam and Eve being obese. Okay, I imagine them being large people and they were hiding behind like a bush or something that they couldn't cover themselves with. So they attempted to cover themselves once with fig leaves and then they hid and attempted to cover themselves again. And the more that I read this passage, the more that it helps me understand that we cannot provide covering for ourselves. God's grace, God's love, the truth of his word is what needs to cover us. His Holy Spirit needs to cover us. At the end of chapter three, God comes along and he, he, he kills an animal, the first sacrifice, and he, he covers them with the garments of this animal. And I think what God is saying, first of all, is that the sacrifice of someone's going to have to cover you. I think it was, it was talking about what's to come in the New Testament. But man, I, I wanted to encourage you today. I'm not sure where you're listening to this or, or how you're watching this video. Um, the distractions around you right now, you're trying to focus and lean in. Um, there's an area in your life today that God is saying, I want to cover you, but you've been trying to cover yourself. You've been hiding from me. I love you. I, I, I'm proud of you. I've got a plan for you, but I can't do those things for you until you come out of hiding and you allow me to cover you because I am the covering. Um, I hope that encourages you today. Uh, apply that at wherever you're at. I want to pray for you real quick, if that's okay. God, I love you. I thank you for today. I thank you for your word. God, would you encourage whoever's watching this video in Jesus' name? Amen. Love you guys. Thank you.